episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10 Arid Start, and we just got notification of another impending Xerox attack. I am in the panic room that I just made underneath the bunker, so we're going to go up into the bunker here. We'll, let's check out our weapons. Uh, what do we got? We've got... Yeah, we should have enough. I don't have a rocket launcher made yet, and I think I really want to get that made pretty quick here. But let's go up into the bunker. Oh, here it comes. Oh, we got more multiple. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is more than this is some Okay, start shooting. Start shooting. Yes. Yes. And oh my goodness, it's it's getting a a rocket off. A couple of rockets off. Okay, so it, hmm, wow, it was getting rockets off. There was only three of them. I mean, I didn't help much, did I, at all, really. Let's, uh, let's repair up. How close did they actually get? So they're, they're actually getting their rockets off from quite a good distance now. See, so they, they never used to have that range before, so that's much better. And how did the base actually fare here? So it took two direct hits right here. And let's see what sort of damage. So, wow. Um, oh, that's hurt though. That gun is almost dead. Concrete did pretty well. Wow, the concrete did amazingly well. Like, what? It had to have done more damage than that. Two direct hits? Okay, well, I guess it's armored concrete for the win. Wow, awesome. So, it took the guns quite a while to shoot down those three. Um, not really sure why. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get out there and loot that. I don't have the range on this. That's fine. Uh, although, although, you know what? I could do a trick. Let's see if I can get the, do the... No, is it not going to do it? You know what? I have to be like this first. And then I go like this. And then I go like this. And then I go like this. Yeah, now, let's see if we still have this bug. And, yep, we have the infinite. <laughs> I'll just take it all. Oh, thanks for the power core. Yeah, I can just fly around the world at this point. Let's go check these out. See, now these are some of the exploits that I do point out to people because they really need to fix this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the infinite range drone trick. Thank you very much for your contribution. <laughs> okay, I don't need to fly back. <sighs> okay, so today, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I'm going to repair up this really quick here. And then what we're going to be doing is we got to go out and do a bunch of mining. So I got to go get a bunch of resources. Uh, we are pretty much out of iron and copper, copper especially. So uh, we can't really make much in the way of ammo. And we need to get enough together to make an SV to go get some more magnesium. Okay, so maybe what I should do is make a T2 sniper, because I think that would work really well from the bunker here. I think I should be able to get some good range with that. We'll look at some hand weapons and see which ones have the best ranges, because I think that's what I'm going to need. Because they were getting some wicked shots off at some massive range. 
We also need to look at maybe getting some better range, um, maybe putting up another another bunker somewhere. I was I was thinking of doing a south opening. It would come out right about here. That might work pretty good too. Um, although that would actually give the Xerox some access. But I was thinking of putting an opening right there because that's where the panic room is about this level and it would come straight out and I could um, I could get out there with my with like a sniper and get really close to them before they could shoot and have that all just dug tunnel instead of yeah you know what I think that's what I'm gonna do that sounds like an awesome idea okay so what else needs to be repaired got the guns all this stuff well I'd say that was pretty successful I didn't have to I didn't have to intervene with the base defense that was three so why is it three now still difficulty of zero Overall probability of 49.2. The probability went down, I think, because of my reputation. But, yeah. Cool, eh? <laughs> that was fun. Uh, okay, so I will meet you. I'll get everything together, and I will meet you at the HV. And I guess... So I can go gobble that up really easy. What I need to do is go explore the south some more. So go open up this area of the map. See what's down here. See these unknown structures. I can grab stuff out of those now uh, and try and throw it into the, the factory. Yeah. See all these unknown helix, unknown. I need to go go loot all those and put the stuff in the uh, in the factory for the yeah that's what we need to do that's what we need to do we're gonna go get we'll go get that copper and iron off camera really quick here because I need that it's just copper and iron and silicone potential. well the silicone is okay for now but copper and iron I gotta go get and that's close by I can get go get a couple of those um, I don't need to show you guys that. I'll do that off camera. And then we'll come and loot, start looting all the stuff I haven't looted yet. And we'll throw it into the, throw it into the factory. Well, we won't be able to do the drone base yet, but yeah. All these unknown artifacts and crap like that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll come grab you. Okay, so as you can see, we have got our crap together. We got the iron and copper mined and dropped off at the base. Uh, we also made a bunch of cores and came to this unknown structure first. Uh, we don't necessarily need to core this one, but we do need to pop the core on it, so let's do that. Switch to our guns. I'm going to open the front door here. And that way... Oh, whoops, that wasn't the front door. There. There's the front door. So... should spawn some nightmares or something. Now we can pop the core by hand and since there is spawners in it, you know what? Let's pop it by hand. Okay, this thing I'll lower down a bit. Actually, I'll lower down a whole bunch. 
Um, no, a bit. A bit. Because we've got to kill these guys when they come out. Okay. So we're going to pop out. Get our weapons ready. Okay, they should spawn. Come on, spawn. Anything else around? No. Come on. Oh, here they come. Just kind of sucked at that. <laughs> Here, let's kill them. No, I actually want to loot them because they might have some stuff on them to help with healing. And that was one of the reasons I was really trying to avoid them, because they could have poisoned me and or disease me. And I'd have to rush back to the base to deal with that, so I just didn't want to deal with it. There. I did draw them out, at least. I didn't kill them. that cheesily. <laughs> okay, so there's the core. Freaking recoil. Okay. So let's take a look to see what she's got. And ooh, an extra large thruster. Oh my, and Xeno steel blocks. Hmm. Medical device. Um, you know what? Let's. We should be able to. Hmm. How heavy is that? 2K. Yeah, let's put that in here. That's light. Grab that. These are. Oof. 1.5 ton a piece. 45 SU. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough SU even to pick that up. So, that ain't happening. Um, I don't have anything that's going to need that. Let's, let's grab as much as we can. 33. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, the other thing we can do now is because... We've got all this in our toolbar. Let's actually go ahead and throw this into the factory. That'll help with the yeah, that was a that was 80 Neo in that. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, I could pick up more blocks, not many. I don't really you know I tell you the truth, I'm not going to use the, that's just going to weigh me down right now. If I want it, I'll come back. If I really want it, I'll come back for it. I'll keep the medical device for now. Okay, that was a pretty good score though. The uh, extra large thruster was uh, just what the doctor ordered, so we need more of that. Let's take a look here. Okay, so it looks like we got to head up. Unknown helix. Unknown artifact. Abandoned drone base. Unknown artifact. Okay, so... Although we have this whole area here we haven't discovered yet. Okay, let me go discover that quickly. going to be all this stuff. And all the Polaris. So, 
I'm going to head over there, discover all that, see if I can find another abandoned structure or something for us to take over. And Okay, you're probably thinking, why am I stopping at an ancient shelter? I'm going to show you why. It actually has some pretty good stuff in it, if you know what you're looking for. So I'm going to show you. We're going to take one of the cores. Or whatever, a core. <laughs> We're going to core it. Doesn't matter. Just right there is fine. Okay, so now let's equip our multi-tool. Um, let's just make sure we don't have any nothing going on there. Okay, good. We're going to launch our drone. And in here, you can see, oh, there it is. We have a bunch of force emitters. So let's take those and make sure that you're on private. Yep. Okay. And force emitter right there. We'll grab that. And there's another one right there. And then I should probably grab the windows too. Let's just do that. <laughs> um, grab these windows here. There's a force emitter here. Oh, and here. Okay. And then is that the only force emitter? Some windows. So there was a few there. There was a few there. Oh, there's one here. Oops, missed that. Okay. So that's pretty good. Uh, we'll take these two, the shutter windows. Might as well take the light. <laughs> that means that there is a, if power came on, that means that, yeah, there it is. We'll take that. We'll take that. Those all go in the factory easy enough. I don't really want to take any more. Now, what I should do is pop the core so that, yeah, let's do that. Let's pop the core. There. That way that's not going to um, start any Xerox attacks. Okay, so we've got a marker over here. We've got something to the west. Oh, to the west, yeah. So let's go do the marker. We're almost there, so I'll just keep recording. Okay. Oh, sounded like a baddie. I'm not going to go after it right now. We're on a mission to try and uncover most of the map here. I mean, ideally an SV with a detector on it is the best way to explore. But we only got this little thing to explore with. Okay. Well, let's head in. I want to make sure I uncover everything, right? So. Now, this is all Polaris territory, so. I think I need to, like, get friendly with them still. Hang on, let's take a look at this. What are we at? Yeah, we're still neutral. So we can do a... Uh, <laughs> we'll do the, the Polaris... Cheat to friendly. <laughs> uh, it's not really a cheat. It's... It's... Um, they have a very easy mission, and then it really doesn't take much to 
hit friendly at that point. Whoa, major lag there. Oh yeah, look at them all. Look at all the players' buildings. Lots of stuff to uncover. So other other than other other than the the little bit of of hesitation coming into the zone, well, the extreme hesitation, as in a a stop <laughs> a stop frame. Um, well, I'm just look at all this stuff we're uncovering. The the un new Unity engine seems pretty smooth. Like this may be like I haven't done the SV test yet at high speed through a forest. Uh, we hopefully I'll get to that this series because I'm not going to be stopping the series um, until Alpha 10 is over, really. Yeah, I don't know where we're heading that way. I guess we're just trying to reveal everything with the radar, but let's get the map counter removed here. We'll just go up to it. Okay. So... There was nothing cool there. Just a bunch of gas refinery, security, 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 security. Wow. There is a bunch of silicone and promethium. So what we're going to do is let's head over. We're in their territory right now. <clears throat> and there's a spider. So let's deal with that. As you can see, we got Polaris reputation for it. And okay, it's worth looting, absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the PDA. We're going to click on the Polaris tab and this one needs to be friendly. Ah, oh, damn, this one gives you eventually an epic drill epic armor it's like awesome we can do this privacy matters shot, shoot down some drones okay well yeah that's possible or scout a few ore deposits oh that sounds like it's right up our alley since there's some ore deposits right here now oh i saw a golem there so there we go, we got credit for one. We'll back away a hundred meters. And look at all the spiders and stuff. Okay, so is that a hundred? Yep, we're backed away a hundred meters. We get within 50 meters of the same one. Boom, we got credit for it. <laughs> we'll do the same thing again. And so if you only have one deposit, you can do this. There you go. Boom. We're friendly. <laughs> just like that. Yes, folks, just like that. Here, let's uh, kill this guy. Oh, come back. Come back. Hey, hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Wow. I don't want to shoot any of the Polaris blocks. There we go. Wow. He was pretty elusive. Or good at evading, anyway. But not good enough, considering that he's laying dead in front of me. Okay. Uh, well, let's head up to... Hmm. I guess we could uncover get up to about here and see what that entails so 
So we have lots of resource options now. We've uncovered a whole bunch of deposits. I don't think we're ever going to run out of deposits because it's just there's enough to do whatever we need on on the starter planet um, in the way of starting to put oh look at that there's a Prometheum right there and oh yeah rocket drone okay so with I heard somebody lippy oh yeah there's a lippy guy right here I'll kill him because he's interfering with my train of thought here and the rule of stop for every golem does not apply on this planet because there's just too many and uh, I don't want to because <laughs> I'd just sit there constantly shooting golems if I did that one of our burgers okay let's get back to it here now there should be a yeah rocket drone let's clean him up there he is right there oh, get to our guns he hasn't seen us yet. Oh, now he has. Here he comes. And he is dead. And there's something annoyed with me. Yep. A spider. There we go. And he be dead. Let's just quickly get over here and loot this kill that spider too okay now we're going to hit Xerox territory real quick here. I think I'd rather just skirt it. I don't really feel like playing with disaster. Although, as I say that, keep moving closer. Yeah. I have a feeling that there's going to be Xerox in there. And, oh, there's a golem, but like I say... The stop forever golem rule does not apply because there's too many golems. Okay, let's head over east. Oh, something to the east here. Nope, there isn't. It's to the north. And there's Xerax. Okay. And see, there's just golems everywhere. Oh, yeah, copper, not bad. No, 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 no. Look for Xerox. Don't see any. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that marker. Okay, well, that's it for the abandoned stuff. I guess I got to go way, way up here now. Unknown artifact. Unknown helix and unknown artifact. Okay, well, I'm going to head over here and then I'll head over to the other unknown artifacts and I will meet you guys there. 
Okay, we're at the first unknown artifact, and I think I'll just, instead of putting a core in, I think I'll just blow up the container here and collect it with my drone. There's the core right there. Now, there's a whole bunch of spawners in here, so. Yeah. Let's see what it's got. Ooh. Switch to there. We're going to grab more medical devices. Repair bay. Yeah, I can't really carry these. I don't really care. I probably won't use them. In fact, those ones I won't because they will despawn. <laughs> uh, now, the other... I'm going to show you a trick. I didn't do it here, but... Uh, what I could have done is page up a whole bunch of times until you can actually see the core and it will let you shoot the core from here I swear to God watch <laughs> yeah yeah uh, it is an awesome game trust me there's some exploits and bugs to work out yet <laughs> and that's why it's still in alpha. Okay. Uh, I really want to go kill him, but off to the next one. Okay, with this one, we will just shoot out the core. You know what? It's just... This one's easy enough to just shoot the core out. It's right there. And then we'll just take the uh, the drone. And, you know, I guess I could put my own core in. Let's do that. I, ma I made a whole bunch of cores. Let's, let's actually do that. Oops. It's number one. Number one. There we go. There we go. And you know what? I guess we can just have, I guess we can um, just look at devices, right? And are those lootable? No. See, those alien containers are not lootable anymore. So we would have to uh, pop this anyway or climb up and loot it. So let's just pop it. Any blocks that I can't pick up, I don't really care at this point. And, oh, nice. So we can grab that large generator. And the pulse laser. Nice. That's all good stuff. That's, that's really good. Okay, so... Let's just go into the um, factory right off the bat here. Throw this in there. Excellent. We'll throw this in there. And oh, so close. Cobalt, too. We've got the cobalt and sathium now. <laughs> nice. Just from looting stuff. Oh, I love it. We, we do have the Neo back home, so we'll have enough to spawn this in. How cool is that? Yeah, I know it's only level 7, but it's it's a CV, which has way better cargo capacity. So I can take that to the moon. I can, I can bring this... I can put a, a, a landing pad on the front here, a docking pad on the front and dock to it. So I can take this up to the moon with me and get a whole ton of ore and stuff. So I think that's what, what we're gonna do pretty quick here. Let's continue on. We've got one more left here and then we'll head back to base. That's the abandoned drone base. That's the unknown artifact right there. Right there. Unless that's one of those floaty ones. Can't remember. Anyway, I'll meet you guys there. 
Okay, we're at the submerged tank. Uh, I know this wasn't the next thing, but it is now. Because we're just going to pop these really quick. Down here. So there's three containers that we can pop. We'll see what's in them. And nice. Oh, wow. Who cares? We'll take the sniper because we actually will take that, of course. Um, that's awesome. Okay. And then we'll pop these. And who cares? Nice. Yes. Oh, that's too heavy. Okay. There, we'll just put that together then. That's fine. Wow. That's a good find. And then let's check these guys out. Oops. And once again, some epic loot. Take that. Take that. That should be enough right there. Ooh, hardened steel blocks. Oh, I want to take those. We're not going to be able to take them, though. Ooh, almost all of them. Oh, nice. And how about the armor? No? I do want to take the armor. Okay, but I can't get rid of this now? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Come on. Fine. Just drop those in. <laughs> okay, I guess we're full. Wow. Let's put, um, oh, get, stop it. Let's put this in there and that should, yep, that's enough now. We're down to three minutes. So we'll, we'll get back to base and be able to fill that up and spawn that in real easy now. Okay, good. Excellent. Can we pick this up now? Yep. And we are getting heavy. This thing is sluggish. Okay, I'll meet you back at the last thing. Well, it's just the unknown artifact, the big floaty tough one. So I'm going to call the episode here. It's a real long-winded episode. But we got some really excellent loot. We've got enough just from looting the un the alien stuff to be able to spawn in a CV. Yes, it's a tiny little nothing CV. Can't even warp with it. But it can take our vehicles up to the moon. And that's going to make a big difference right now. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.